Hey guys, Holly here from ByTheStand.com. I have a great DIY to share with you today, so thank you for watching this video. What I'm going to be doing is I found this at Dollarama. Don't know what it is. It says it's called an artist panel. I have no clue what that means. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make it over into a chic little vanity tray. So we're going to use it this way. Okay? And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using unicorn spit. If you've never heard of unicorn spit before, it's a gel stain and glaze, but it's a really cool paint that you can use for thousands of different projects. Like this stuff is amazing and you can mix it, you can water it down, you do all kinds of stuff with it. So I'm just going to show you one way that you can use unicorn spit to create a really cool effect on this, whatever this is. I don't know. Like I said, I got it at the dollar store. It said artist panel. But we're gonna turn it into a tray. So let's jump right into the project and let's get started. We have our block here from the dollar store and we're gonna work on the inside of it. I'm gonna start taking off pieces of painter's tape and we're gonna apply that painter's tape along the inside wall of the frame. You wanna make sure that you rip uh, the tape off in smaller pieces just so that it's easier to work with and that you can ensure that the tape is going straight along the bottom of the frame. You don't want any bleeding so you want to make sure that the tape is nice and straight. Once we have it all taped up here we're going to move on and we're going to grab our paint. Today we're using Unicorn Spit. I have Pixie Punk Pink, Purple Hill Majesty, I have the beautiful Zia shade and I have the White Ning. So I love all these colors from Unicorn Spit and they're super fun to work with. What we're gonna do is we're gonna apply about six to seven drops of each color at the top edge of the frame. And it doesn't matter if it oozes out a little bit more, a little bit less in each drop, it's not a big deal. Once we have it all uh, splattered into our wood frame here, I'm gonna take this little scrapey tool, it's just a plastic tool that I use um, when I work with vinyl and we are going to scrape the paint down to the other end of the frame. Isn't that super cool you guys? Look at that really cool effect. We're going to scrape it back and forth. You want to make sure that you work the paint into the edges as well. And You'll see that I'm scraping it along the back side of the wall. That's just to make sure that it goes right up to the tape. We're going to remove the tape here and what we're left with is this gorgeous design. I'm gonna paint the frame and what I've done is I've just watered down a little bit of the Zia shade and um, so I get this nice kind of stain look. So I don't want like a solid paint, I want it to look like a stain. We're gonna paint the frame up and I just wipe it, paint it on and wipe it off with a soft cloth. To add a fancy effect to my tray, I'm going to use this Dimensional Design Magic Adhesive Paint from E6000. This uh, color is bronze and what I'm doing is I'm just putting it along the edge of the frame all around four sides and then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to brush it out. So I'm going to start at the edge and I'm going to pull the paint out into the middle of my tray. I'm not going to go all across, I just want it to come out at the edges and the sides. So I'm just continuing to pull the paint down here. I'm gonna bring it up onto the edge of the frame though because I didn't like the way the blue met the bronze inside the tray. So I'm gonna pull it all the way up along to the top. And then once I'm done that, this is what we have. So it adds a nice little touch to the tray. I have these um, neat little metal embellishments that I got from Michaels and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them inside the middle of the tray and I'm ba basically just going to put them in piece place here and then I'm going to grab my hot glue gun and I'm just going to glue them down. It doesn't matter what kind of glue you use for this part because I'm going to be putting a resin over top so the glue is basically just to hold it in place so that um, it doesn't move around while I'm pouring the resin and while the resin is setting. So once I have these in place here, we're gonna start mixing up some resin. What I have here is the Envirotex Light. This is the hardener and the resin. So these are the two um, components that you need. You wanna make sure that you mix equal amounts of each. That's very important that the measurements have to be exact in order for the resin to set properly. 
So you pour the resin into the hardener and then you basically take a little wooden popsicle stick and you want to mix it up really well, making sure that you're scraping along the sides of the cup with your stir uh, popsicle stick, whatever you're using to stir. You just want to make sure that you scrape the cup really well. Pour it back into the other cup, stir again, again making sure that you are scraping the sides. And then we're going to do one more um, pour again just to make sure that we're mixing it well. I'm going to set my tray up on a cup here and then into a box just in case any of the resin leaks out. I don't want it to leak onto my table. And I'm going to pour the resin into my tray kind of evenly and then I'm going to distribute it, distribute it with my popsicle stick here. You want to make sure that um, you distribute your first part first before pouring more resin on top and then to get rid of any air bubbles you can blow on it with a straw. Once you've distributed the resin you leave the resin to set for about a day and when you come back you're left with this shiny glass like finish. So there you have it guys. Here's how you take a wood frame from the dollar store and turn it into a chic bandy tray using um, unicorn spit some dimensional magic paint from E6000 and uh, some resin. I hope you guys will try this project out. Make sure you leave me a comment below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time.